All right, let's try that again. For whatever reason, my microphone was unplugged. Hi, I'm the Blue Hat Chalk 2010. Uh, thank you for joining on in on Odin's Fair Life Razor for the PlayStation 4 Session 17. Uh, thank you, Deviant Lost Mind, for um, the host. And I hope you enjoy the stream. To all those that have entered in the stream, I hope that you enjoy the stream. Tonight is the last chance for you guys to enter in on the 300 follower giveaway for a 12 month PlayStation membership on uh, for the uh, PlayStation Network Plus membership. Uh, keep in mind though that um, for the terms and conditions, uh, it's only US code only. So it's so to those that have entered in that's out of the US, we'll do a separate giveaway on your guys's and. Uh, to those that have entered in, you know, thank you for entering on in. Thank you for participating. We will see you tomorrow to see who the winner for the 12-month subscription fee will be. Um, <clears throat> as far as the voting goes, uh, for the boss rush, it seems to me that Oswald is the winner uh, by eight, by three votes, actually. Gwendolyn was behind and... Um, yeah, so Oswald will be the character that you guys will be seeing on the boss rush for Odin's Fair Life Razor uh, for um, <clears throat> Monday at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Tonight, Armageddon is among us. And I'm going to rely on you guys, the chat, to lead on uh, what you guys will be um, giving us, whether it be the revival of Arian or you guys will be preventing it like monsters. So, with that being said, let's go on ahead and head on over to the game side of things. And let's go on ahead and load up our file. Before we step into Armageddon, though, I will be going through the uh, text file again. So that you guys know what's going on. So basically, I'll just uh, read Quirks' memo here. Again. <clears throat> so. Saga Psalm 2. A fiery six-eyed beast speeds the guiding hand of salvation. The one who removes the torment is mine own son. The six-eyed beast must be Darkova, the three-headed demon beast. This section is based on a prophecy by a great king of Titania. Therefore, the one who removes the torment is mine own son. It's thought to refer to the bloodline of the Titanian royal family. And if the beast feeds on man, then most likely no human can defeat it. But it's unthinkable that a non-human would be king of Titania. Unless, of course, he is cursed as we are and is no longer human. Saga, Psalm 3. <clears throat> one that threatens the darkness is the shadow of the lost monster. Prophecy verse 1, phrase 2, the unleashed frenzy of death. Something seems odd about these phrases. Odette, queen of the dead, has no master to unleash her. If the lord of the netherworld is not Odette, then what being can emerge from the netherworld? Only King Galen, who is chained in the netherworld, comes to mind. Will he lead the army of the dead to his own country? Having read the Psalms based on this theory, the late master is Odette, and the shadow that threatens King Galen is the shadow of Odette. I've heard that there is a swordsman who bears the shadow of death in the fairy kingdom, but could that be? Saga, Psalm 4. The looming blaze cometh burning down the forest. The flood of fire that man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. Evidently, King Onyx's army from the Fire Kingdom will sweep the land at Armageddon. The saga states that mankind cannot resist, but the world tree destroys the army. Yet this world tree exists only in myth. There is no such tree in this world. The second clue, prophecy verse 1, phrase 2, scorches the throne's surroundings. Does that mean that the throne itself does not get scorched? If so, it could be suggesting that the one on the throne is able to face the flames. The cauldron is, of course, the cauldron. When the princess's efforts are in vain, the nightmare repeats and the arm again will begin. Our king must be the one to trigger it. Saga Psalm 1. Though blades and arrows are unleashed, a flooding fire cannot be stopped. It can only be chained. 
If any weapon can match the raw power of the cauldron, it would be some manner of cipher, and not a blade, but something that can chain it. Prophecy verse 2, in the cauldron that breathes despair, the blood of the ancients boils. We are newcomers to this land, so we are not of the ancient blood. The one who controls the cauldron must be Valentinian, and must hold a cipher made of chains. In other words, this must be Princess Velvet. If the baby dragon master Cornelius saw his Lefenthin, as the king said, then it will be an eternity before it matures and devours the world. It is written that the dragon's growth is slow, yet inevitable. Saga Psalm 5 Born in chaos and fire, sleep in mother's arms. What is the mother that puts the Lord of Snakes to sleep? With the dragons Hindu, Wagner, and Belial gone, it seems unlikely that the mother is a dragon. Then what is the mother in the Psalms? Prophecy verse 3 devours the stone of blood. The stone of blood can be taken to mean the red magic stones created in the cauldron. Even if Lothenthin is stopped by a red stone, the Armageddon will not stop. The Demon Lord must have made Baylor in anticipation of this. Too bad we destroyed it. Saga, Psalm 6, and lead the revival. The last psalm explicitly states that the world will be revived. The Demon Lord and the Magi have taken this to mean that whoever survives Armageddon will become the new kings of the world. The Demon Lord sought victory through wars and the mages tried to control the Armageddon directly. Yet they are all mistaken. The two lords that survive will be chosen from the five challengers of the disasters. The two lords are said to be crownless. I suspect that lord is not meant to suggest royalty, but something else. Finally, here's the conclusion and my findings. This is conjecture, but from Psalm 5, life disappears from the land, all comes to an end. One can only imagine a barren world with a tiny population. By crownless lords, could this mean the primogenitors of mankind in a new world? If so, it will be necessity. It will, it will, by necessity, have to be two humans, a man and a woman. Then we can presume that the mother in Psalm 5 can be understood as... The one who defeats the Fenthin becomes the mother of the new world. Everyone other than the two humans will perish. How can this be in any way considered salvation? I hope that I have misunderstood the prophecies. Alright guys, I hope you got your um, thinking caps on. Because we're about to open up the Book of Arm again. I'm going to rely on you guys. To choose which characters go through each chapter. Let's read the Book of Armageddon. Let's wrap things up. <clears throat> Armageddon. The world now bids farewell. Five seals are unlocked and a catastrophe has been unleashed. Both the living and the dead will witness the judgment of heaven and earth. <sighs> the spell of Darkova is still affecting me. I knew it would happen, but my heart is tainted. I can't bear it. Like a wolf, my hunger eats away at my very core. Velvet, not even you are safe from my appetite for human flesh. This shall be my end. But I cannot rot like this. Here's Leventhin. Over here, Leventhin. And of course, King Valentine. He is using the cauldron to speed now up see. the growth of Leventhin. Dream of devouring all. have once again set this cauldron alight. It should know who its master is, even without the ring. Now, respond to my voice. 
The time has come to bring judgment upon the Earth. I am one with destruction. Absorb the power of every Fozon in the land. Now, annihilate this empty shell of a world! Wow, shit. <clears throat> what a terrible sight. So this is what remains of I'm all right, Moonlight Kitsune. Right. Kitsune. How are you doing tonight, buddy? You're alive? You still hide, coward. Are you any better? You fled from the Netherworld. How rude. Hard to believe. You share my noble blood. We are very much alike. We both lust for power. Same here, buddy. Same here. Power? What power could you possibly hold? Let me show you the Darkova. Relive Titania once again. Impossible. I'll turn your precious cauldron into scrap. Will you fight to the death? Aye, unpleasant, isn't it? The cowardly prince who destroyed his country will give his life to save it. Well, shit. There it is again. Someone is calling upon the power of Darkova once more. Stop! My blood is boiling, but the anticipation awakens a sick pleasure inside me. My heart is growing dark. Ah, here they come. That woman sends her servants to restrain me once again. No, because Queen Odette is Yen. dead. Our queen who set your shackles has been sent into the darkness. No one shall interfere with the king's freedom once again. Then obey me, grave keepers. If you wish the power of darkness to survive, then obey the shadows around you. From this moment on, leave the dead. Make your way to Titania. But we cannot leave. The queen blocked the path. What? Rest assured, King Gallen. There is a way to escape. Who are you? I am your humble servant. My appearance has changed, but my Beldor, you not. son of a bitch. I am Beldor, a wise man. Are you aware? That the Holia are able to traverse the border between life and death. As the new power figure in the Netherworld, all you need to do is command them. Halia, show me the way. Let us abominations leave. And enter the living world so we can devour life. Wow, shit. Slowly but surely, the five disasters come to be. What's happening? The land is collapsing. What? Highness, the ocean rises. If this continues, tis only a matter of time until our land sinks below the waves. The prophecies. Begin. King Onyx! Your Majesty, what can we do? There is no going back now. We shall march inland. But the prophecies tell of our demise when we get to the World Tree. There is no World Tree! That story is a mere fable. 
We shall burn the forest away and prove that those prophecies are false. Inform all in the Fire Realm. The time to seize the world has arrived. King Odin, at this rate... Galen runs the netherworld. Do we have any troops? Our infantry has been completely annihilated. The Valkyrie... The main gate is destroyed. The enemy is inside the palace. Ah. I knew this day would come. I made the Baylor for this. If only I still... No, Mercedes destroyed it. We must protect the king! That seems to be a bit much for King Odin. Any warrior encountering so many Halya must become weak of heart. Why, tis Griselda? Have you lost your way in all this chaos? I have never done anything fatherly for you. Not once. If I could die for you, I would be satisfied. It seems that we can be together forever now. Are you happy, Griselda? You're so lovely, my child. Goodbye, King Odin. It's nice knowing you, buddy. As foretold, death triumphs. From the balcony, you can see the dark troops cover the mountain and beyond. The spirits shall soon arrive here. Red Nonival must be... Princess, remain calm. We must escape from here. I understand you must be worried about Oswald, who went to gather information. <sighs> Princess Gwendolyn, this way. He shall take you to safety. Maris, I'm sorry. Please fetch my spear. Princess Gwendolyn! I shall follow Oswald. No, you mustn't! Fear not. I am a Valkyrie. If it becomes too much for me, I shall fly away. Now, go on. Princess. If we are to meet, let us meet atop Horn Mountain. They're coming. Hurry! What? No. Griselda? Are you... here for me? Knock down the crown. Do not forget your role from the epic poems. Griselda? All right. The time has come. You have the knowledge. First, we must select a character to fight the Six-Eyed Beast. We have Gwendolyn, Cornelius, Mercedes, Oswald, or Velvet. So the question is, who will be our first champion? One for Gwendolyn, two for Cornelius, three for Mercedes, four for Oswald, and five for Velvet. And to give you a bit of a reminder... The first psalm reads, 
The land sinks in the cauldron's fire as though blades and arrows are unleashed. A flooding fire cannot be stopped. It can only be chained. A fiery six-eyed beast speeds the guiding land of salvation. The one who removes the torment is mine own son. One vote for Cornelius. Anyone else wants to put in their vote? I'll let it run for a two-minute mark. But so far, Cornelius seems to be the person that's up to vote. Cornelius of two votes. It has been two minutes, so finishing up the poll. Cornelius is up first. There's no turning back now. This is Darkova. Could trying to fight this even be considered a battle? Ingwe, is that you? Did you use the secret magic? Answer me! Yes, it is true. Who's there? Let me introduce myself. I am Urzer's acquaintance. You're one of them. Is what you said true? Is this really Ingwe? Indeed. He used the secret technique in order to stop the cauldron. But little did he know that there is also a spell to control the Darkova. Control it? That's impossible. If there was, my father would not have been forced to kill my grandfather. After the incident with King Gallen, your father had us research the spell. Our work was successful. My father? What are you planning to do? Foolish questions deserve no answers. If you plan to stop me, you will become a victim of my loyal servant. Ingwe, I feel for you. You are innocent in this. All right. My father also fought a demon beast with this. I'm not afraid. Just wait. I won't let you suffer. All right, guys. Welcome to Darkova. The difference this time. The difference this time is he has his eyes are a bit of a different color this time around. So there's three things you have to watch out for this beast. The one with the blue eyes can um, cast ice. The one with the red eyes can cast fire. The one with the purple eyes can cast poison. Every once in a while, he will switch heads like so. And you have to watch out for the head in the middle. Because that will most likely be casting any um, spell. And unlike, and unlike last time, each head has its own health bar. And just so you know, I will not be saying whether or not you are correct. You guys will just have to wait and see for the outcome. I am relying on you guys. I already know the answers, because I've played this game way too many times to count. Oh. 
I hope that you guys are having a wonderful night so far. And I hope that you guys enjoy this stream. Although this is the final story for Odin Sphere, it is not the finale because we still got the boss rush to go through. And we won't see the boss rush until Monday at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Ouchies. Ow. Time to heal. Just know that no matter which path you have taken me, chat, I will not hold it against you. This will be the ending of Odin Spear Life Treasure. Looks like we may have enough to do a, uh, a powerful move, and I don't think I've shown off Cornelius's move, so this is perfect timing. Okay. Where is it? Khaled Ball. Seemed to be a bit. That seemed to have done a little bit of damage. So I don't think I was at the precise spot where I needed to be to cast that. But that's okay. Heal myself. Here we go. Okay. Almost done here. perfect spot so let's go on ahead and cast it here perfect Oh, <laughs> 
That's it. That's it for Darkova. Cornelius. He's not dead. He's quite stubborn. Ingwe, you're hurt. It's karma, Velvet. Don't you feel it? Even now, the cauldron is absorbing photons from the world. Hello, Rezian. How are you doing tonight? It's too late. The root of the land is dead, and Arion is sinking into the ocean. Do you remember the note? Mother's note? Perhaps destroying the cauldron is the wrong thing to do. She wrote the note for us. Perhaps she tried to tell us how to overcome the dangers. The cauldron guides the way with the final stone. If the core is reversed, the phosons stored inside will be released. That might save us all. I am sorry that you are going crazy, but I am doing fine. I am going through Armageddon, a known spear, where I'm relying on the chat to lead the outcome, whether it be the revival for Arian or the Armageddon of Arian. Don't worry about me. Mother waits for me on the other side. She's sure to punish her bad son. This is your cowardly brother's last request. So far, we've only been through now one battle. And, uh, no chat has chosen Cornelius as the first champion. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and even now... I think of her face. It's because you're in I love, you fool. Why. I hope she is safe. Mercedes, I wish I could see you one last time. All right, let us save. Okay, sounds good, Rezian. All right, guys. Time for to choose our second champion. Select a character to fight the Lord of the Netherworld. Again, I will read you another um, passage of the psalm. The Lord of the Netherworld emerges in a triumphant march of death. One that threatens the darkness is the shadow of the lost master. So... With that being said, who will be our second champion to go against the Lord of the Netherworld? One for Gwendolyn, two for Mercedes, three for Oswald, and four for Velvet. Cast your vote now. I'll give you two minutes. One for Oswald, two for Oswald. Oh, and because you didn't do it, babe, I'll go on ahead and do it for you. All right, well, at this point, it has been a minute, and three uh, people have voted for Oswald. I don't see any other people voting anytime soon, so we're going to wrap the poll here. The people have chosen Oswald. So let's go on ahead and choose Oswald to go against the Lord of the Netherworld. Who are you to lead the Halia? Gallant 
This is on the PlayStation 4, but you can also get it on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. Oh no, you're fine, Odysaur. That must be what happens to one who gives up. So far, we're going through the story of Armageddon, which is the final book for Odin Sphere. And um, I'm relying on the chat to vote on which characters to use in each chapter that will uh, lead to the outcome of Arian, whether it be the revival of Arian or the true death of Arian. you back to hell. the end. This is hell's new home. The prophecies say that you are my servant now. They also say that I cannot be defeated what? by you. There is a royal secret. The only one to kill me is someone of royal blood. So the prophecies. Okay, Rez. Say, even if you are the shadow, a common warrior like you will never be able to kill me. All right, time to go against King Gallen. And I gotta say, it's a theme that's playing right now. My all-time favorite boss theme of all time. So, the gimmick with this boss battle is he will be summoning Halya left and right. You can try your best to avoid them because I don't think you can do much damage to them. But your main focus is to attack the three heads first. Now don't worry, they only have one bar of health, so you don't have to worry too much about these guys. What you want to focus on is one vital organ that will reveal once you destroy the three heads of King Gal. With that being said, Almost. That's fine. But yes, keep repeating that as many times as you can, so long as you're alive. You're not under a time limit by all means, so um, definitely take your time with these boss battles. Whenever you uh, bring the heart down by one health bar, the heads will automatically regenerate. So just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be fine. But yes, this uh, three headed demon uh, kind of looks familiar, don't you think? Well, believe it or not, this King Gallon fellow was once Darkova, once upon a time. There we go. get a new game pad or something because the directional pads on this thing is, are hardly being responsive oh 
Go get out of here. All right. You know what? Was a little too high, but that's okay. This should do a good, considerable amount of damage. And yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much my um, tactic for this boss fight. You want to focus on not using Berserk as often. Use your Berserk when his um, heart is revealed. Because you do double the damage anyway. And it just makes this boss battle go by a little more quickly. Okay, well, I knew that was going to happen, but that's fine. Oof. Are those like wolf skulls without the teeth? Okay, no, so the beast you have missed is Darkova, which is a three-headed, six-eyed beast. Uh, stayed in the prophecies. Uh, we went against Darkova not only once, but twice already. We went against Darkova yesterday, but we, and we also went against Darkova today. A uh, Darkova is basically a three-headed dog. So you are correct on that one, Odie. Now would be a good time to use this again. Goodbye, King Gallon. It was nice knowing you. The dragon once told me my father was a man named Edgar. Edgar! I had considered that he would take the throne over his brother Edmund. The throne of Titania? But he chose to defy me and married that woman. He left resenting me. And I knew one day he would try to take my life. This is why I had him killed in secret. <sighs> so, Edgar's. Yep, son it turns out Oswald is of Titanian royalty. Was inevitable. Then, my killer would be of royal blood. Destiny tricked me again. And with that, King Gallon is no more. Edgar, he let me escape to the Fairy Kingdom. So I wasn't abducted, but was found instead. Like Melvin said, he said I was just a tool. But when he first found me and raised me, there must have been something there. 
Titania is sinking. The kingdom is dying. Save our progress. All right, guys. Who will be our third champion to go against the incarnation of fire? Let me go on ahead and remind you of the psalm. The looming blaze cometh, burning down the forest. The flood of fire that man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. With that being said, who's going to be our third champion? Ca cast your vote now. Gwendolyn Mercedes Velvet. Again, the psalm reads, The looming blaze cometh, burning down the forests. The flood of fire that man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. One vote for Mercedes so far. Two people have voted for Gwendolyn. It does matter because it leads to either the revival of Arian or the death of Arian. Nonetheless, there is a tiebreaker. Odie has yet to vote. The psalm is, and it reads, The looming blaze cometh, burning down the forests. The flood of fire that man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. You want to change to Mercedes? Okay. I'll go on ahead and put your vote over to Mercedes. So we technically have three votes for Mercedes. So let's go on ahead and finish this poll. And choose Mercedes. Technically, this is her war that she's Forest. fighting because burning. the Lord King Onyx is someone burned down her home is pretty there much. Anyone left from my country? <gasps> and there's Ingwe. No, it can't be. Is it you? You liar. You said we'd meet again. Ah, Queen, here you are. Your forest is in ashes. Onyx. The world I didn't burns. realize it said blaze. I thought it said blade, so I thought Don't Gwen was so closest smug. to a blade. If the world is ending as the prophecies say, then you will not survive it. Prophecies? <laughs> it all follows the poems. But where is this so-called world tree that is supposed to stop me? It does not exist! Observe the scorched earth. I don't know which tree your prophecies mention, but it obviously isn't here. Tis the mutterings of senile old mages. Their words are mistaken. Flame covers the world as it was when it began. Even if the country is destroyed, my mother would never give up. 
I won't stop drawing my bow. I will act as a queen until the very end. Then prepare to face the Infernal King Onyx Mercedes. King Onyx is no different here. He's basically, he's practically the same when you went against him as Gwendolyn. Well, no, he, he didn't go against him as Gwendolyn. We went against him as Oswald and some other character. I don't quite remember. Probably Cornelius? I don't remember. It looks like a hybrid between Deathwing and Diablo. Ouch. Looks like I'm gonna have to heal myself. Oh my lord. Alright, well. now Whoop. ouch well this is bad gonna have to reload Okay. Okay, it looks like I can't use the Nope, I need four more. Ooh. Speaking of I need to get in front of him. My PP's load? Shit. Well, you know what? Feeling a little cheap on this one. I have enough seeds for this. It looks like I will. <sighs> Barely. Unless... That should about do it. Nope. Um... 
This should about do it. Should probably heal myself. All right. Excuse me. You're almost dead. Give it up. I love Reshiram. Reshiram, my love, together forever. How you doing, Big Cock Coffee? That's amazing. <laughs> it can't be. It wasn't in the prophecies. The Inferno King dead? I'm glad to hear that, Big Cock Coffee. How was the rest of your shift at work? Oh, dearest land. Please take me. This life will now return. Heavens, I return my name. I am Mercedes. My true name. Yggdrasil. And if you guys recall, the World Tree's name is Yggdrasil. So congrats, you found the, you found the champion right for this. Ah, that name, this cannot be. Yggdrasil, the World Tree. The fire is halted by the World Tree. So, you were part of the prophecies, Mercedes. I'm a fool. I didn't see it coming. But, little queen, the prophecies are still incorrect. In this barren land, there are no survivors. Say goodbye to King Onyx, ladies and gentlemen, and Mercedes. Okay. So, who's going to be our next champion to fight the cauldron? I will read the psalm to you. <clears throat> Did I miss... Did I miss something here? The land sinks into the cauldron's fire. Though blades and arrows are unleashed, the flooding fire cannot be stopped. It can only be chained. So with that being said... Who is our fourth champion? One for Gwendolyn, two for Velvet. Cast your vote. Again, I will read the psalm out. The land sinks into the cauldron's fire. Though blades and arrows are unleashed, the flooding fire cannot be stopped. It can only be chained.
One for Gwendolyn. One for Velvet so far. Two for Velvet so far. Got one more minute to put your votes in. All right, it has been two minutes, and the people have spoken. It will be Velvet as our fourth champion. She will be the one to fight the cauldron. <laughs> the blazing columns from above have completely shattered the land! The abyss swallows all! Grandfather! Why, it's you, Velvet. So, even you have come to bid the world farewell in these final moments. Kind of, Rez. Not even destiny can stop the bloodline. Though not really. Not Greek mythology, but... Stop. Some Mother other sort of mythology. This. You are the result of my beloved daughter's betrayal! You are the very reason I find myself in hell! Do you understand? Then take it out on me! Take... Why punish... Norse! Stand... Grandfather! Do you want me to wring your neck too and relive that horrifying experience again? You resemble her too much. Look away from me. I am insane enough. Worry not. I will take everyone along with me. To the end of the world. All right, guys, time to go against the cauldron. And I gotta say, this is my second most favorite boss theme of all time. So your focus is to, uh, it's the cauldron's eye, really. It has its own separate health bar, but it only has one health bar, which means that there is a vital um, sweet spot that you have to focus on after you take out the head, obviously. I gotta say, I do, I do love this boss. This happens to be my favorite boss of all time. Only because of the atmosphere that's in the backdrop right now, the theme that goes along with it, and just the way that you get to control, I get to control my second favorite character in this game. Everything just seems to fall in place on why this boss happens to be my favorite. So once the eye is down, you're going to focus on this little thing right here that falls out from the bottom. Take it. 
There we go. And once you bring the health uh, bar down or it retreats back into the cauldron itself, the eyeball will become active again, in which case you'll have to focus on the eyeball again. Rather rinse and repeat until the boss is done. There is one deadly move that you have to watch out for from the cauldron itself, but it won't make its nasty appearance until like probably second to probably the second or the last health bar. Okay. Almost done. I'm going to have to heal myself. Looks like that'll about do it. Out of here. stream back into its body that's a shame let's try not to die here Wizard Eye. Oh! <laughs> 
All right. There you go. One more bar to go, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh oh. Gotta get out of there. In the meantime, I'm going to figure out. Hmm. That should about do it. They retreat back to its body. Ah, doing its attack again. Attacking again, are we? I didn't know Norse Mythos had giant walking death machines. <laughs>
It's attacking again? Not this time. Try that again. Oh, you bastard! You're dead. Get out of here. The furnace's core survives. But with the systems destroyed, it cannot move or fire its beams. What's your scheme, Velvet? The cauldron is mine. No one else can command it. If they try, they will deeply regret it. For I cast a curse on it. What? Uh... Fainted, huh? I cannot forgive your meddling, you... Uh, why are you here? In her shape! So pitiful. My hollow eye sockets produce no tears. Too bad, Velvet. My work here is done. Like myself, your inheritance is a mere shell of its former glory. Now come, Leventhen! The time of your awakening is nigh! Come forth! We have one more form of disaster and one more champion. The select a character to fight the last dragon. Our only character is Gwendolyn, so let's go on ahead and uh, use Gwendolyn. Leventhon, this is that little dragon? It's long enough to encircle the entire continent. The King of Snakes. My sister mentioned the Leventhon to me once. The prophecies are as unstoppable as the stars. Tis impossible. Twould be like putting out a volcano with a bucket of water. It is too much. King Valentine used the cauldron's power to speed up the growth of Leventhe. And then some. <laughs> Miris, Brom, I'm sorry. The memory is as a female beast that ate hearts. Hmm. Oswald. Do not forget. Knock down the crown. The crown. She said that. Look carefully. It's wedged on its horn. 
So that's... All right, guys, this is the final battle. The final boss, the final champion in use. Basically, you're going to focus on its horns. That's fine. Oh, my PP's low. I guess it is, huh? Serpent. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But this is a Venthen. Vincent does have some powerful moves, but honestly, despite this being the final, final boss of the game, it's actually the easiest final boss in the game. Not 100% sure on that. I don't know much on Norse uh, mythology. So I can't really say. Also a little underwhelming, yep. Because we get introduced to such fine bosses, such as King Galen, the Cauldron itself. And hell, even the Infernal King Onyx was a formidable foe compared to Lefensen. like that we're at the final bar already I should probably heal myself as cool a concept as this is it's a little boring This is it. 
This is the end of the book Armageddon. This is the final boss. This has been Lefenthin. Time to say goodbye to Lefenthin, ladies and gentlemen. Say goodbye to Lefenthin, guys. That's Odin Spear. tonight in all of history tis a great honor for a valkyrie i've watched you grow silly bird i thought you were me you sound like my sister i am you we share maybe because the bird all along was your sister came. gwendolyn This all follows the forms. I'm so proud of you. I can leave with confidence. I love restoration. <laughs> Well, thanks to the chat. How can a whole world disappear like that? It's just We get to finally see Alice talk. Oh, but Grandpa really liked these books. Right, Socrates? It's so sad that everyone in the world died, though. She's upside down because she was falling, Alpacas. Her wings were destroyed. Huh? Wait. This is one of the coins the Puka were looking for. You know, from the illustrations. This is Valentine's symbol. Dear Puka, let me give you this coin in return for your story. <laughs> now you can be humans, right? Like that'll really happen. What is it, kitty? I just felt like saying it, that's all. I tore off the book's decoration. Hmm, I'll ask Daddy to fix it later. Socrates hmm. noticed Sorry, something. Maybe it was nothing, Socrates. Walk on off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but there's Cornelius.
Good. You're alive. When I first saw you falling, for the first time I prayed that I'd save you. I think I overdid it. That's the magic cauldron. It's still there. Cornelius. I'm all right. How's the cauldron? I stopped it without destroying the core. But all the phosons it absorbed from the world have been used up. At this rate, the salvation Iwe talked about is... Friend or foe? Gwendolyn! She's still alive! They're both alive! Huh? This ring... It's Titrell. Why does she have it? Is this fate? After all this, it's made its way here. But... The furnace has no more power. Master Croy. I finally understand. There's still some power. The crystals are right here. In this cipher. The blade is a crystal. If I turn them back into phosons, they could power the cauldron. No, Velvet. If you use the cauldron, you'll be cursed. Cornelius. Everything that has happened has been leading up to this moment. They are the crownless lords from the poems. They will be the ancestors to all of humanity. And this hand wearing the ring shall be the savior from the prophecies. Velvet. The ground is crumbling. We must hurry. I must reverse the magic's flow. Ciphers, give yourselves. Release the source of life. Give the world back its soul. I hereby request Arion's revival. Let the seed of life flow. Obey the ring, Cauldron. You are no longer an abomination, but the mother of all, filled with hope. Just like that, Velvet became a puka. Everywhere we look, the land is ruined. Tis worse than the nether world. Are we the only ones who survived this? That I do not know. But tis a miracle that we survived it all. Perhaps. Let's find a place to rest. In this shattered world... Will there ever be a place that can accept us after we've hurt the world so? Gwendolyn... Wait... Something's happening... Gwendolyn... Oz 
Westworld. What is it? The land. It's as if a new world is being revealed. Gwendolyn, we're witnessing a miracle. We cannot give up. We must have hope. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Odin's Fair Life Fraser for the PlayStation 4. Congratulations, chat. You have revealed the best ending in the game. So my overall thoughts of this game as a whole, it's a fantastic fucking game. And I'm sorry it took this long to complete the game. But I know you guys wouldn't have minded, considering, you know... Well, just look at how beautiful this game was as a whole. I mean, if you guys have... Some of you guys have sat, you know, through this entire journey of Odin Sphere. You would understand just how much I appreciate this game. Like, the soundtrack. The fact that you can change the um, voice acting to, from, you know, to either English or Japanese. And um, just everything about this game, honestly, it's just phenomenal. It is a wonderful experience. This game was originally released on the PlayStation 2, and I will admit right now, the game is ridiculously hard no matter what difficulty you choose on Odin Sphere on the PlayStation 2. This is redaptive version of Odin Sphere, the one that I played on the PlayStation 4. It also was released on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. With that being said, uh, with the redaptive version, it's made to cater to the newcomers of Odin Sphere. And, you know, I don't know. I haven't really played the highest difficulty yet, so I could only imagine how difficult it would be to play through this game but i've only played it through normal for the casual play of the game and i hope that you guys have enjoyed it you want it on steam you know what this game would be fun to have on steam but um yeah not only does this uh game um this redaptive of the game has this version of the game, but it also has the OG copy of Odin Spear. So at any time, you can switch between the old game of Odin Spear, or you can stick with the newer version. And that's what I really like about this package, because not only does it cater to the veterans of the game, but it caters to the newcomers of the game. And that's what I find really refreshing about this game. Like, like um, my first exposure of seeing this game was when my friend um, visited from Virginia. And uh, he played this game on my PlayStation 3 because someone donated me a digital copy code of Odin Sphere for the PlayStation 2 on the PlayStation 3. And so when I first saw him play it, I really loved how the game looked. But to see how difficult the game was, I could not have seen myself getting hooked on it. And so when I went to GameStop one day, I wanted to put some more love and attention to my PlayStation Vita because I put it off for so long. And so I saw Odin Sphere Life Razor for the PlayStation Vita. And I thought that this was going to be the sequel of Odin Sphere, the original Odin Sphere for the PlayStation 2. Turns out that was not the case. And I am so glad it wasn't because. Just. I don't know what else to say. Like, honestly. If you want an easier time with this game. Stick with Odin's Fair Life Thraser. If not, you can stick with the OG Odin Sphere that this game offers. This um, part of the game offers 
or you can still pick it up to this point in this point in time uh, if you have PlayStation Now on your PlayStation 4 or if you still have your PlayStation 3 lying around uh, you can definitely pick up the OG copy of this game as well but I mean I'm glad that Odin Life Odin Spear Life Razor was not a sequel because but I've said about all what I need to say about Odin Sphere. If you have not checked it out, if this has not convinced you to try and pick it up for yourself, definitely, definitely pick it up. It is worth your time and your money. But we're not done yet. Hey, you there. You look rather sad to say goodbye. Titania's become a nice place after the dragon disappeared. It certainly feels a lot better. Just where do you hail from? You don't know. <laughs> You're an odd one. Whoa! Watch where you're going! Well, you must be here looking for a good deal. Am I right? I've got just the thing. Come on, it doesn't cost anything to look. One apple, please. But of course. Today's your lucky day. That was what we call a fairy. You don't see them around here that often. This town's really gotten lively lately, and many new people have come. Like that sexy lady over on the corner. An odd couple. Ooh, what's that you have there? How about selling it to me? I'll trade you this special commemorative Valentine coin for it. Look, just between us two. They say that this is a rare coin that can grant wishes. Sounds fair, yes? Hey! That's a Valkyrie. She looked like King Odin's daughter. Good heavens. Is there another war going on in the West? If you are planning on doing some trading, you best avoid that area. Oh, so you're a writer? Are you writing about your travels here? Well, that's nice. Hey, write about me while you're at it. All right now, take care. It was nice talking to you. If we ever meet again, let me buy a copy of your book. Hey, wait! So, uh, let me ask. What's the title of the book you're writing? Turning Rift of the World has been unlocked. Special has been added to the text archive. Heroic difficulty has been unlocked for new game. Extra new game has been unlocked on the title screen. That being said, let's go on ahead and save. But as you have noticed, there is one star that's still unlit. And well, let me go on ahead and uh, load up the file again. Just to show you guys why that is.
Let's pick up Socrates. I want to pick up the cat, damn it. No, you are fine, Gak. So as you can see, this is the entire timeline of Odin Sphere of all the characters. Now, what's really neat about this version of the game, in the OG version of Odin Sphere, to get the best extra ending of the game, you had to go out of your way to find all the commemorative coins. Because if you remember, there was a text file that said that the Pukas are collecting these coins and to those that collect all the coins will be granted one wish. And that one wish to them is to become humans again. So you had to go out of your way to collect all of these commemorative coins in the OG version. Not in this redactive version. All you really have to do is get all, unlock all the cutscenes in this game to get the best ending. But that also means that you have to unlock all the other endings in the final story. Now, you guys have unlocked the best ending of the game, but there are still some cutscenes that are missing, as you can see here. Well, lucky for you, we're not going through that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and exit here and just show you the fruits of my labor preparing for this playthrough of the game. As you can see, my first file, 32 hours, has all the stars unlit. Well, it has all the stars lit up, I should say. So I load this up, pick up Socrates, look at all the timeline. Imaginatious. As you can see, I went out of my way to unlock all the cutscenes in Armageddon and have unlocked an additional, an additional cutscene. But before that, I'm going to show you what would have happened if you guys have fallen for the false end of Armageddon. This is what would have happened. The tip of Horn Mountain is sinking. This is the last piece of land in Arion. Whose wish was this? Please. As long as someone survives this cataclysm, I would gladly give my body and soul up to the heavens. If my wish comes true, and someone I love survives, then my death would have some meaning. This, this is a terrible ending. <sighs> and at that point after that, it would say, you fucked up, try again. <laughs> That's pretty much what it all boils down to. How are you doing, Imaginatious? I hope you're do having a fantastic night. But since you guys have led to the true ending of Armageddon, and I went out of my way to unlock all the cutscenes. Let's load up the special cutscene. We finally collected all the coins from Valentine. All the coins my grandfather created are here. Let's see. We should test this now. Magical coins. 
After these Thank you for tuning on in, time. alpacas. If I hope you have yourself here, a wonderful night and a call. good rest. Enlightened one, shall I sing your praises? Who has gathered all the coins from my kingdom? Ah, oh, that face. Tis my grandfather when he was a kind man. It is I, your granddaughter, Velvet. He cannot hear you. This is only an image from the past. Who is the one to have amassed such a fortune? It matters not. Such a lofty accomplishment deserves a grand celebration granted by my incredible power. Hear me, and rejoice! Allow me to grant any wish. One single wish. Think carefully. <laughs> I've waited so long for this day. Of course, I want to break the curse on us. Wait, Velvet! Do you really wish that? All of us cursed to be Puka. We can live forever, in a timeless vacuum, in these bodies. We can live forever, in love, just as we are now. And our souls will go on, even after our flesh finally gives up. This curse is eternal, and our souls will never return to the land. But if we become humans, we will die before a hundred years have passed. Cornelius. Instead of living eternally while cursed, I believe that it is more noble to live out a natural life among other humans. Yes, I agree. For millennia, we have observed the lives of other people. But even in these prosperous times, we cannot say that the people are happy. The world is filled with heartache, as it was before the Armageddon. But the sun will always rise. There is always a path. Yes. The world was not destroyed, and... The descendants of Gwendolyn and Oswald live on today. Their souls survive in this land that they have saved. The blood of Valentine must also be passed on. Aww. Cornelius. King Valentine, we have decided. Listen to the voices of your coin's owners. Break this spell and return our humanity. Rejoice! With this, you may fear that the power within you is fading as well. But it remains. Hear me, those who have worked together. Your efforts are greater than any mere magic. Live your new lives to the fullest. And just like that, Cornelius and Velvet become human again. Until death do us part. I shall never let you go. Our lives will go on together. But that is it. That is finally it for Odin Sphere Life Razor. At least for now, we still got one more session to go through, and we will go through that on Monday. As we go through the boss rush of Odin Sphere, and you guys have voted that Oswald will be our champion selected for the boss rush. Who were siblings? Oswald and Gwendolyn? No, they weren't siblings. Gwendolyn and Velvet are siblings.
But you guys have voted. Uh, Vorvet, Velvet and Cornelius are not siblings. No, Cornelius was the prince of Titania. Velvet is the princess of Valentine. The siblings were... Um, Ing no, the siblings were Velvet and Ingwe. I think you've got that confused. But you guys have chosen Oswald to be our champion. And as you can see, I've also taken the time to level up all the characters to level 65, so it didn't matter on which character you have uh, casted your vote on. But you guys have chosen Oswald, so Oswald will be our champion. And as you can see, the reason why I've gotten this all the characters to level 65 is because I've unlocked all the abilities, all the skills needed for the boss rush ahead. So, let me see, how do I exit out of here again? There we go. We'll go back to the world map. And as you can see, there is one other thing that's unlocked. Turning Rift of the World, enemy level 50. So as you can see, this is the boss rush. In this area, checkpoints do not exist and you will have no access to the item box. We recommend that you fully prepare before proceeding. And I will do that before Monday. I will make sure that I am well fully prepared for the uh, boss rush ahead. Although it looks like I may be prepared as is. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go on ahead and wrap things up here. And I will see you guys on Monday for the boss rush of Odin Sphere Life Razor. I would like to take the time to thank everyone again for tuning on in on every other session of Odin Sphere leading to this one. And congratulations on unlocking the best ending of Odin Sphere. You guys have done an amazing job. Tomorrow... We will be going through more Super Mario World co-op with Beauty and Black on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> She's saying yay all enthusiastically in the background. She's not looking for it. She's um She's not, she's not looking forward to it. <laughs> but um with that being said. If you guys have not joined the Discord, feel free to join the Discord. I do updates on there concerning the stream schedules or, you know, just the stream in general. And support streamers, both big and small. So if you're a streamer, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on Twitch, feel free to join in the Discord. We also do open mic nights for game nights every Sunday night. So if you join the Discord and want to join in on the fun for game night definitely join the discord if you are a subscriber you're going to copy this raid message if you're a non-subscriber you're going to copy this raid message let me refresh this page and see who's all online let's see We've gotten a handful of people that's online tonight. Let's go on ahead and push this love over to Slappy Jack. He is playing her story, it looks like. That's what the title of the game is called. So we'll go on ahead and push the love over to Slappy Jack. I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Super Mario World on a Super Nintendo co-op with Beauty and Black. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning on in and thank you for participating. I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010. As always, happy gaming, my friends.